The 2023 Zhuzihu Kella Lily and Hydrangea Festival has kicked off and will run until mid-June. During the festival, there will be a series of DIY activities and even Kella Lily picking lessons. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang takes us to a Kella Lily water field in Zhuzihu to learn how to make a bouquet from hand-picked flowers. Before heading into a Kala Lily Field Pond, you will have to change into this frog jumpsuit and rubber boots. Once you're all geared up, you can go to the water fields to pick Kala Lilies. I'm currently at a Kala Lily Field in Zuzihu. Kala Lilies bloom here every March and April. After changing to this outfit, you can come down to the field and pick Kala Lilies. The first step is to enter the field. After finding the flower you want to pick, lunge with one foot forward and then slowly reach the bottom of the flower stem and then gently pull the flower out. Here at this color lily field in Zuzihu, flowers are already in bloom. This color lily field began 50 years ago. Visitors can get a lesson from the owner to learn the basics of how to correctly and safely pick color lilies and return home with their own color lilies. When you find a flower you like, lunge and move slowly to the end of the flower stem. Instead of grabbing the flower and pressing it down, reach down till your hand touches the water. Then hold the base tightly and then pull up. When you pull it up, you have to make sure you stand firmly on your feet. Our field has a history of about 50 years since my father first started it. We used to cultivate calla lilies with traditional methods, but now with my daughter, we are improving our methods and transitioning into eco-friendly farming. In the past, we used chemical fertilizers and pesticides, but now we don't use pesticides and it's organic. March and April are the peak harvest period for calla lilies. It is now the blooming period, so the blooms will get better and better. This year, the owner of the field has also designed several installations and seats for people to snap photos. There's a mirror to create a reflection of the mountain and pond if you snap a photo. Many students have come to catch a glimpse of the beautiful blossoms and pick their own calla lilies to take home. When you step into the pond, it is full of mud. It is a very special feeling. I was very happy. It's a little soft when you step into it, and you can't really lift your feet up and walk around. But it's fun, and the flowers are very beautiful. After picking color lilies, you can also make DIY souvenirs to take home. Visitors can also participate in a DIY flower arranging class by wrapping their hand-picked calla lilies and other flowers into a bouquet while enjoying some afternoon tea. Lu Pingfang, the daughter of the owner of the field, offers DIY courses inspired by her experience living in Italy for 13 years. When you come to class, there will be a small welcome gift and a small snack. After picking calla lilies, you can eat the small snack and wrap up the bouquet. The Zuzuhu Kala Lily and Hydrangea Festival has already kicked off. This year, the festival features activities across more than 30 farms in Zuzuhu. For the first time, the organizers have also combined the Kala Lily and Hydrangea seasons together to prolong the festival till June 18th. The Taipei City government encourages people to take public transport to Zuzuhu during the festival period. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang and Li Yihan in Taipei.